And now, it's time for another Dice Tower Review with Tom Vassell. Today we are going to review Frankendie. Frankendie was some of the most handsome scientists ever shown. They okay, one. One? Else looks weird. <laughs> yeah. Frankendie is a quick, fast game, and I should uh, give a caveat here that I did a paid preview for Frankendie way back when it was on Kickstarter, and also one of the scientists in here tends to look a little like me. Um, but let's take a look at the game and see if it's any fun. In Frank and I, each person takes a scientist that's going to be them. So there's all sorts of Markenstein and Frankendie and Dinkenstein and Erkenstein and Meinstein and Alkenstein. And there's all different Steins here that you can be, including the very famous and uh, not at all handsome Tomkenstein. Uh, so you pick one of these scientists, that's who you are. And then you also are going to pick a monster that you're building. Now this scientist and monster, what you pick, they essentially have no bearing on what happens, except in a mini expansion. But for now, in the regular game, they have no bearing on it. What you're trying to do is you're trying to build your Frankenstein. For that, you're going to need two feet, you're going to need two arms, you're going to need a torso, you're going to need a head, and you're going to need a brain. So you have these body parts that you need to get. So how do you get them? And there's a whole pile of body parts and there's different heads and different torsos that you can get, but it doesn't really matter which ones you get. The way, what matters is the, the types that you're going to get. So the way that works is each round, somebody rolls all the dice. And then you look at the dice that are rolled and you're gonna be slamming your hand in the graveyard and calling out a number. For example, I might say three hands, or I might say one foot, or I might say one head or two torsos. I can say any one of those things. However, I have to be correct. If I put this in and say three torsos, I'm incorrect. So players are slapping their hands down on top of each other, on top of this here. And the first person and the second person who have made correct calls will take a body part of their type. You can't say zero, by the way. So if I said one head and I was correct, I get a head. And then Melody said three arms and she's correct, then she gets an arm and that's the way it goes. Now if I had said three arms and then Melody said three arms, she would not get it. Only one person can get one of each type. So then the third person who would say something correctly would get it. But you have to say it as you're putting your hand down. You can't put your hand down, then say it, and so on and so forth. So you keep doing that. Once you have your whole body filled, then you must say lightning. And if you say the right amount of lightning, your body comes to life and yay, you win the game. Now, there's one rule that matters, and that's if you have more body parts than anybody else, then you have to be the first one or it doesn't count. Same thing with lightning. When your body is completely finished, it doesn't matter. Uh, you need to be first or it doesn't count. And so that's how you play. Now, I mentioned there was a mini expansion that comes with the game, and that's each of these scientists that comes with the game. For example, Tom can sign. You can flip them over and you can take a special ability. You can either take an ability that helps you or ability that hurts you. That's if you're faster than everybody else, you can take the ability that hurts you. For example, uh, Tom can sign can be patient. In a game with four more players, he can't you can't be the first person to make the correct call. Or if you want the positive thing flexible, you can call limbs and just count and I'll add all the arms and legs together. And so you can take one of those abilities or you can take neither basically as neutral. For example here, this doctor here, if you're the first person to make a correct call and you call a set of lightning, you flip this card. You can then win as soon as your creature is complete. So you can do that easy. Or competitive, you may only receive body parts if you are the first player to correctly call out a set. So you can see that that's added into the game and there's a lot of these scientists that are thrown in there that you can flip around and play and, and do. And so that's essentially the game. The expansion just is kind of a way to balance it out. All right, Melody, what did you think of Frank and Die? I liked Frank and Die, except uh, I was very slow at slapping the thing. <sighs> Frank and Die is good. It, it's a good, fast, fun game. There's a few problematic. What, with this game, it's gonna depend a lot on your group because any game where you have people who are hitting the table as fast as they can and shouting things out, there's gonna be large arguments over who was first. 
Um, or if someone put their hand out and then a second later said it, or you know, they, they said, I said two body parts, and everyone's shouting at the same time, so how do you tell? I played one game where I was a judge. I wasn't even playing. I was just listening to see who was first, and I still sometimes got confused over who said what. Someone would say, two arms, three arms, and amidst everyone else shouting, I couldn't, their first thing was wrong, so they shouldn't have gotten it, but I didn't hear that, and their hand was already on the bottom of the heap. Also, you got to be prepared. Your hand's going to get slapped uh, a little. Even even though I didn't even put my hand out, I still got slapped. What? Oh, how's that possible? You made it all close, so whenever someone smacked it, I uh, got Ah, okay, so people were, I thought you meant people were just slapping you. Um, <laughs> but I, I, the, the artwork is superb. The game itself works. I'm just saying you need to control. If you have one person who's out of control, I think the game is going to be problematic because they're just going to be screaming and slapping and... Uh, mm -hmm. That's when you stick your, turn your ring, you know, so that the jewels face down when you slap. Ow. Um, but, <laughs> but okay, the theme is fun. It, 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 it's building a Frankenstein monster, which could normally be considered gr grotesque. But it, in this game, it's, it's fairly silly. So I found it okay. You know, it's a speed game, grabbing thing, you know, slapping hands down. I'm okay with that. I like the special abilities, adding them. Um, but... But I think that a lot of people are going to get a kick out of this. I think that this is a game that you could give as a gift to people and they would really enjoy because of the funny theme and just the, the idea of slapping hands down. And all the kids that I've played it with, and that's the majority of my playtesting has been with kids on this one, uh, that have really enjoyed it. And you? I liked it. All right. Frankendie. Tumpkenstein. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching the Dice Tower videos. Find more great videos and reviews, as well as our top-rated audio podcast at Dicetower.com. You can also find the latest board game news at Dicetowernews.com. I'm Eric Summerer, and you've been watching The Dice Tower. The Dice Tower is sponsored by Fun Again Games, the world's best game source. Fun Again Games has over 5,000 games available. Check them out at funagain.com. Shut the door. Yeah. Yeah.